Hey guys, Samsung is nowadays extremely aggressive to catch up on the features that Oppo, OnePlus 6, and other Chinese phone has to offer. In the past few days, Samsung has enabled features which was awaited for a long, long time. For example, they've enabled the Gmail unread badge, multiple window in a list style. They've also upgraded the keyboard layout and they have overhauled, changed the design of the notification bar. Plus, they have also added the 3D touch capabilities. However, this time it has taken a bold step and introduced an official call recording feature. This came along with the latest update that was released on 22nd of August on all the current flagship phones, that is Note 8, S8, S9, and Note 9. Samsung did not highlight this feature in any of their release documentations. Maybe because they are still testing this feature or the law of the land doesn't allow it to do so. So to enable this feature, you need to open the phone log, go into the settings, and then enable the feature record calls. There are various other settings that can be enabled and disabled as per your needs. This feature also allows you to store all the call recordings in your memory card if you have it installed in your phone. All the calls are recorded in M4A format. Now what is M4A? M4A is a file extension for an audio file which is encoded with advanced audio coding, that is AAC, which is a lousy compression by the way. Just to put that into perspective, a call recording of one minute will consume approximately one MB of data. All these files are stored in a folder named as call. This feature has capabilities to record calls via wired headset or a Bluetooth headset. The recording quality is extremely clear and crisp. Point to be noted, once this feature is enabled, it will drain power from your phone which is minimal in this case. So that's my take on this new feature. Do let me know your views on it. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if it is helping you by any means. So thanks for watching and have a great time.